Okay, break it together. Ready, set, go. Boom, nice one. Mommy will open it. Whoa, that sprayed everywhere. Hi, guys. Hi, I'm not ignoring you. I am trying to multitask again, no, which, I as you know, I'm not great at. It. You know, we have to get the shell out, too. This is my little guy, and we are making, what are we making, Ari? Tell the people, what are we making? We are making eggs. Well, no, we're, what are we making in the long run? We're just, where are the eggs going? They're going in the cake. You got some shell in. Hold on, slow down. You're way faster than me, Mr. Professional. I feel like I'm the sous chef, and you're the actual chef. Um, cake, we're making cake with eggshells in it. Have you ever tried it? It's a secret family recipe. It's excellent. Here, ready? If you break it, oh, here's a trick for you guys. Maybe you don't know this, and my son's telling you, showing you how not to do it. If you take an egg and you crack it a bunch of times, then there's a ton of that shell, and then it actually creates more shell. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of that made sense. Just pretend I'm speaking English. But if you just do it once hard, here, let's show them how to do it. Let's show them how to do it mommy's way. Instead of so many things, times like that, just once really hard. Ready, set, go. Perfect. Yay. Yes, a shell went in there because you... I know, mommy will get it out. Um, guys, listen, is cooking with your kids, does it make for a greater mess? Yes, but it also makes for a greater human. So just do it, just do it. Okay, ready? Let's do one more. Good. Now, will you mix these up? Hold on. And also another trick, I'm not, I, we're not even doing a cooking show here. I'm just telling you tricks as I go. Do you know that the easiest way to get a shell out is using um, the shell? Use the shell to get the shells out because they kind of attract, almost like magnet. There we go, got that one out. How's everyone doing? Anybody else starting their Monday by cracking eggs and making cake and trying not to add too many shells in our cake with shells? Okay, do you wanna mix this up now? Yes. Okay, you do it. You do it. Okay. Ah, hi, hi, I'm Christina. We are, we are trying to start this week off with cake. You are, oh yes, and we didn't need that part of the egg. Um, you ask why? Why are you making cake? Is it somebody's birthday? Are we celebrating something? Yes, we're celebrating life. Okay, I cannot think of a better reason for cake than just I do it. life. I do it. I we're do not it. actually celebrating I anything do it. specific. I, do it. I, do it. I know you want to do it. Okay, you do it. You have your own technique. That's good. We need to pour it in here, okay? Do you want to help me pour it in here? Um, I want to. I don't know if there's any eggshells in here because you were kind of aggressive with that thing. You're doing, a, you're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. Um, a little eggshell is not going to hurt anyone, right? I think we're good. Okay, now we got to mix this up. Can you mix it up? Look at how much cake batter there is. Can you mix that up? Oh, I wait. found an eggshell! I found an eggshell! I feel like we just won the lottery. Oh, okay, but seriously, guys, I'm not kidding. We're making cake just because. Because you have to just celebrate things in life. You have to. What did you see over there? Oh, you saw mini chocolate chips. Yes, let's add mini chocolate chips to our cake. Do you want to mix this for me first, though? I'm clean. We need to clean your hands. Um, tell me where you guys are watching from. Tell me if you cook with your kids. And also, please comment and tell me if you prefer your cake with eggshells or without. I'm just really curious. Maybe there are cultures around the world where that's considered a specialty. So yes, that's what we're doing today. Um, I know, you want to add. So we're going to make we're making vanilla cake, and we're going to add some chocolate chips. That sounds good. Do you want to open that? Now here's the deal, you actually have to put it in. You can't just like be eating the whole bag, okay? Do you need help with that? Yeah. Ari, can you tell the people how old you are? Two. No, you had a birthday. I have a birthday. So how old did you turn on your birthday? Cupcakes. You turned into a cupcake on your birthday? How old are you now? Two. Nope. Three. Yes! You're three, you keep forgetting. I do that too, Ari. Sometimes I accidentally say that I'm 10 years younger than I am. Okay, you pour it in. You pour it in. I want to try one. Of course. We got a taste test, right, guys? You don't want to serve chocolate chips that are expired, okay? And don't ever trust, like if you have a big thing of fudge you bought at the store and it says the expiration date, why would you trust that expiration date? Why would you trust those numbers? Taste it. Everything, taste it, mm, all the time. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Here, go like this, open your mouth and go like this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Ooh, it's raining chocolate chips. One more. It's raining chocolate chips. Okay, should we pour some in our cake batter? Um. Or, or do you think we should just eat them all? Do we just like pour some? Ooh, here's an idea. By the way, Truth Bomb Mom mugs available through little things, you can buy some. 
Here's an idea. Take some chocolate chips and pour them in your coffee. Oh yeah. I mean, if I'm not nice to you people, I don't know who he is. Like seriously, you've already learned like three things. Eggshells in a cake, chocolate chips in coffee, and don't try to do a live show with your child. That's the three things you've learned today. Okay, do you want to pour them in? We got to stop eating them. Let's pour them in. Whoa, should we do them all? Let's do it. I want nice. To eat them all. I, yeah, I'm sure you do want to eat them all. But we should mix them up. Can you mix them up? Yeah. See how the cake batter now looks like it has polka dots? Isn't that cool? You're just going to keep putting your hands in there. Um, so, life, right? Making cake because I'm celebrating life because you just, here's the thing you need cake. You need cake in life. What's the point of life without cake? Okay, cake gives life meaning. Cake, always cake. And I'm one of those people that's into celebrating. Do you want to mix it? Um, um, I you just want, want to eat. That's all you want. You just want to eat, right? I want to eat the chocolate chippies. Chippies? I like that name for it, chocolate chippies. See this? It's empty. So we're going to eat the chocolate chippies when we bake the cake, okay? Do you want to go play now? You help me so much. Um, um, Daddy, yeah, go play with Daddy. Daddy. That's a great idea. Go play Daddy. with Daddy. Go, go ahead. Go find daddy and play with him and, and ask him. The nice. High five. High five. Later. Nice. Don't let that one go to waste. Hey guys, I can focus on you now. I'm giving you all my attention for the next 20 minutes or so. I'm all yours. Excuse me while I drink this coffee. Um, little things, people. Do you make coffee pot sizes that say, because I don't know if you guys have seen my video uh, called Your Normal, but I drink straight out of coffee pot because that's the appropriate size when you have children. So little things, I appreciate this mug, I love it. I hope everybody watching this will buy one, but if you could make me, I don't know, like this size would be good, I would really appreciate that. My birthday was last month and Christmas is in like six months, so that would be a nice mid-year gift, thanks. Okay, so what I was saying is, um, I like celebrating everything in life, not because I'm cheesy, which I am a little bit, but because I feel like life is freaking hard. Can I get an amen? Can I get a thumbs up if life is hard? It just is. It's hard. And then it gets really good and it gets great. And then you're like, oh, I can chill now. Life is good now. And then something happens because that's life and that's fine. We can handle it. We can do hard things. We can. I really think we can. But in the midst of all that tough stuff, I think we should celebrate. So one thing I did, for example, is a friend of mine got laid off because their company was cutting down. They weren't doing well. And so they started laying off employees and she, uh, he was really upset. And I said, I think we should throw a party. I think we should throw a, I got laid off party. And he was like, yes. And we did. We threw a party. We sent an Evi to like all these friends. And we said, and if you got laid off, we're celebrating you too. Like if you've been laid off in the last five years or ever, we're celebrating you too. We threw a party and we literally celebrated this person getting laid off because that's what she got to do. I know of a woman who got cancer and she was like, she cried and she was really upset and she dealt with all the normal emotions. And then she's like, I'm throwing myself a party. I'm throwing myself a, I'm going to beat this party. And she shaved her head and then she ended up at the party the guest favors were wigs everybody got a wig and everybody at the party wore a wig and they just celebrated and i know some people it's hard to get there when you're struggling you don't really want to party but if you have it in you i'm telling you find the most random silly reasons to party and no it doesn't have to be expensive you don't need a ton of money to do this you don't need to you know do all this crazy stuff have everybody bring some food get a cake and that's it. You don't need decorations. You don't need presents. All it takes to have a party is people and cake. That's it. It's a party. If there's like right now I am having my own party. See people cake anyway. Um, and then also another thing I've done since, because I love parties and I love cake Any excuse for cake is great. When my oldest one turned six months, I was so excited. I don't know if any of you with your first kid, it's like a big milestone, like six months, half a year. This child has been outside of me for half a year and I've kept them alive and they're thriving like I'm an amazing badass. So I wanted to celebrate. So I decided to make half a cake and I've kept that tradition up. My oldest is almost 14 now. I've kept that tradition up. Every half birthday, I make half a cake 
And then, because we're told dorks in my family, we sing half of the happy birthday song. But we like to complicate things. So instead of you know just singing the first half, we sing every other syllable. So we go hap bur to hap. Okay, I'm not gonna sing the whole song for you. We do this every half birthday for our family, and it's so fun. There's no presents. There's actually, we don't even invite people over. The kids just get to decide what they want to, you know, what they want me to make for dinner. And um, I make them half a cake. I literally make a cake that looks like it's been chopped in half and half of the happy birthday song. So anyway, just an idea. Just, just find random reasons to celebrate. I have dogs walking around and I really hope there's no chocolate on the ground. There's not. I will not hurt my dogs today. That's good. Um, so yes, I'm big on celebrating everything. Tell me how you guys feel about that. Do you guys feel like we need more reasons to celebrate? Because there's, there's bills to pay and people are sick and people are depressed and jobs are hard and motherhood is exhausting and blah, blah, blah. Don't you think we need more reasons to just go cake? Cake. Cake makes everything better. My hands are so sticky. Hold on, you guys. Okay. So sort of on the similar same topic, um, I was asked... I saw a question a while ago, probably a few weeks ago, and I never got to it, and so I want to address it. Somebody asked me, what is a good thing to do? The woman that wrote the question said, I don't have a lot of money, but I have a teenage daughter, and I want to do something for her, a cool gift for her for her birthday, but I really, I literally have no money. What do I do? What's, like, what's a thing that's memorable? And so I'll tell you what I did for my, can you guys hear my dogs? You're going to occasionally hear my dogs. If there's someone at my front door, you will not hear me. It will look like this while you hear really loud dogs barking. Because apparently they think that everybody that comes to my door wants to murder me. They don't, but that's what my dogs think. Um, anyway, so here's to, I don't remember your name. I'm really sorry, but whoever asked that question for the gift for a teenage daughter. Here's what I did when my son turned 13. And I'm going to do it for my daughter. My son was my oldest. When he turned 13, I did this. My daughter, my middle one's turning 13 next year, so I'm going to do it for her. I was trying to think, I was trying to plan a fun 13th for him and I was thinking, what did I need at that age? Which is something so important for us parents to think, right? We get annoyed with our kids. We get annoyed with hormones. We get annoyed with all this stuff, our, especially our teenagers are going through. And sometimes we gotta just stop and go, okay, hold on. It's not all about me. What did, like, what do they need? So what did I need when I was their age? Just kind of, it'll, it'll just make you more empathetic to whatever they're going through. And so I thought, okay, well, at his age, I was really insecure. I know he's insecure. At his age, I felt really awkward. Junior high years, hello, is there anything more awkward? I know he feels awkward at times. Um, I wondered what I was good at. I was questioning my worth. You know, all that stuff that we go through, right? So I decided I would ask everybody who matters to him to send me a video, and I would just put all those videos together and present it to him. And what I wanted is I didn't want people to do the typical things they do in video messages. They're like, happy birthday. Hope you have a good year. That's sweet, but that doesn't say anything. So what I specifically asked is I want you to videotape yourself saying something you love about Luca. That's my oldest son's name. Something you really appreciate about him. Something that you admire about him. It has to be very specific. So not you're a great kid. You make me laugh. Like I want specifics. And I have family in Croatia because that's where I'm from. So my parents sent in messages, my sisters, my friends, his friends. I got kids from his school to do it. I got some teachers, some of his old teachers to do it. And I'm tell I just put this together, nothing fancy, and woke him up on his 13th birthday with breakfast in bed and said, I want you to watch this, buddy. And it was, I forget, maybe 20 minutes, 15 minutes, I don't know how long it was, of literally people just showering him with genuine compliments, with genuine, this is why you're a great person. I cannot even put into words his face. I mean, I literally started crying just watching him watch it. Who wouldn't want that? I don't care how old you are. Who wouldn't want to sit there and see the people that you respect and that you love just showering you with, remember that time that you did this, that meant so much to me, and hey, you're really gifted in this area. I'm so, I so admire your talent, blah, 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 blah. You get it. So there you go. Just email, text everyone that means something to your teenage daughter and tell them to send a message. And again, ask for specifics because a happy birthday is great and she'll be like, oh, that's so cute. But those genuine like things specifically cater to her, 
she will never forget. She will never forget. And since his birthday, he's watched that many times. And in fact, I'm going to replay it for him. Like I always think when he's having a rough day and he's feeling insecure, I'm just going to play that video for him. So there you go. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And it will be probably the best gift you've given your daughter. Back to cake. I don't know what else we should talk about today. Guys, this is a lot of butter. This is a lot of butter. This is a lot of butter, a lot. Um, I'm going to look through some more questions of you guys from you guys. But again, please find reasons to celebrate whatever it is. Can I tell you? Okay. This might be, this might be PG 13, but I'm just going to, you, I, I go there sometimes. Okay. I'm just going to share it with you. Um, did I ever share with you guys the fact that when my husband got a vasectomy, we threw a party for that? Did I tell you that? Um, because again, we think everything should be celebrated. So you should have fun. So we sent an invite and, um, the invitation was a picture of a lemon and it said, all juice, no seeds. <laughs> I know I'm nuts. I'm nuts. We're nuts. And then, um, we made a bunch of food and it was all shaped like balls and we invited friends over and we literally were like, you know what? We're just, we're just going to celebrate literally everything, everything. I'm telling you our friends still to this day are like, that was the most fun random party we've ever been to. There were no decorations. We didn't go there, but it was just fun. It was just a bunch of people getting together for a silly reason to eat cake, to eat cake and eat meatballs and truffles and everything else that comes in ball shapes. <sighs> how you guys, how you guys feel about that? Can I, can how do you guys, I need a thumbs up or a, how about, how about this? Give me a thumbs up if yes. And then just maybe type in no, just, just a simple no. If no, we took it too far. That's not an appropriate party. Um, my kids were not invited to this party, by the way, only because they had other plans, not because I think there's anything wrong with it. All right. I'm going to take one question, maybe one question, and then I'm going to go because I actually need to bake this cake in order to eat the cake. I hate that's the, what's the worst part about baking, by the way. You have to put it in the oven and then you have to wait. You have to wait. You have to be patient. And I am not patient. Um, all right. Let's see. Oh, okay. This is good. Any tips? Oh, this is appropriate. Um, Amy's asking any tips on getting kids to cook with you? All right. I know this is hard because some kids love it, right? Some kids just love getting in the kitchen and all this stuff. And some kids hate it. They don't want anything to do with it. So one thing I think that's important is for us not to be such control freaks. We are control freaks. No, you're doing it wrong. No, nah, nah, nah. don't do that. Don't do that. Just let it get messy. I mean, look at, look at my kitchen, right? It's, it's, it's a crazy, insane mess. It, I mean, who cares? Who ca in the long run, does it really matter that there's freaking eggs everywhere? No, it doesn't matter. Um, we also want things done specifically. Like it has to be done this, this specific way. No. Give your kid, like I always, this is the example I always give. Let's say you're roasting potatoes, pick five spices that would go really well on roasted potatoes and give it to your kid and go here, buddy, smell these. And you get to decide how we're going to season the potatoes. You get to decide every kid loves some power. So they're like, Oh wait, we're not following. Like I get to invent this recipe. Yeah. You get to do it. Give your kids power. Don't be so controlling and make it fun. Just make it fun. I always crank up music when I'm cooking with my kids. There's something about music that just puts everyone in a better mood. You're dancing, you're cooking. It doesn't feel like a chore with anything in life, guys, music. When I have to freaking vacuum or sweep or clean toilets, I am playing my favorite music because I am just try it and you'll see. It just makes those mundane, annoying chores easier when you're no one wants to see me dance, but you get the point. You get the point people. Um, and also, like I said earlier, I mentioned earlier, and I say it all the time, will cooking with your kid make for a greater mess? Yes, it will. But it will also make for a greater kid because you want your kids to grow up and know how to do this. You, you don't want your kid being 18, leaving the home and barely knowing how to press buttons in the microwave. You want your kid to be able to leave and go, Hey, I can make myself a nice meal and not burn the house down and it'll actually taste decent. All right. That's all I got for you today. I will see you next Monday. I hope you guys all have a great week and find a reason, not that you need a reason for cake, but find a reason this week to have cake. Maybe it's the fact that you're left-handed and you want to celebrate everyone in your life that's left-handed. Throw a party for that. Maybe it's the fact that you actually didn't press the snooze button 15 times today. That I think that's a good reason for cake. Have cake. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.